she dies, she goes to heaven. And upon seeing God, she says, there's one, there's this one thing I always wanted to know. God goes, okay, ask away. Do vaccines actually cause autism? The guy goes, absolutely not. Truth is, vaccines have nothing to do with autism. And then the woman just shakes her head and goes, they got to you. Man, this goes really high up. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. All right. Now, I got some funny things I wanted to read to you, and it was um, sort of like setups for a joke, and it is, it's called Stains from a Hat. Stains from a Hat. But what it is, is that somebody comes up with a sort of a, a, a what do you call a, in, 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 in. I know, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, like somebody just comes up with a setup, and then people come up with their replies for it, okay? <laughs> come up with a funny part. Here's one, and it is, seems from a hat, things you can say about your dog, but not your wife. Hmm. Things you can say about your dog, but not your wife. Hopefully, she'll live to be about 15. <laughs> <laughs> She's an old bitch, but I still love her. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she, lo she loves having a ball in her mouth. Uh, 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 the kids are allergic to her. We're going to have to find her a new home. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just found her on the street. Oh, I, lo I love this one. Get off the mailman. Get off the mailman. Get off. Get off. 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 <laughs> you poop on the rug one more time and I'm rubbing your nose in it. <laughs> oh, why not? You probably could relate to that one. Okay. Uh, no, I don't poop on the rug. Yeah. Hey, Johnny. Rug. Rub, that, rub them in there already. <laughs> Having that very delicate conversation with your daughter saying, Sorry, sweetie, we had to send her to go, quote, unquote, live on a farm. Remember that one? Okay. Best friend I ever had. I just wish I had more like her. Or I got this one. This is the one I made up, and it was, for God's sake, don't give her sausages. It turns her into a fart machine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I might bring, uh, be bringing those back later. I think these are pretty funny. I like them. They're funny. Okay. Now, here's one. Okay. A man <clears throat> walks in through the front door after work. Goes in. Right? His wife immediately starts smacking him. Left and right, across the face, and cursing. Bap, 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 bap. He's going, whoa, 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 what gives? Right, the smacking intensifies briefly, and then she lets up, and she's trying to catch her breath. and saying, I picked up your coat from the dry cleaners earlier today, and I found this in the pocket, the wife exclaims. And she presents a small slip of paper with a woman's name on it and digits on it. Mm. And the guy goes, that? Well, honey, that's the name of the horse I'm betting on this weekend. One of the horse races, right? Well, wife goes, oh, okay, I forgot, right? Because, you know, they give these horses funny names. And I guess the numbers are like, what are the odds it's going to get, yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. Anyway, the next day, the man comes home from work, and lo and behold, the wife lunges at him again, right? She's smacking him left and right, even more violently than the day before. Shouting obscenities and said, Jesus, what did I do this time? And the woman and the wife says, The horse called. <laughs> Not the message. <laughs> horse called, left the message. Okay. Here's one. Uh picked this up recently off of Twitter and it was someone said, I personally I don't believe in bros before hoes or hoes before bros. There needs to be a balance. What I would call a homey ho stasis, if you will. Oh, 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 homey, oh, oh. homey ho stasis. Uh, okay. Right now, here's one. Somebody came up with this is an idea that someone came up with, and it is a practical joke you can use to play on your phone. Right. Once bored with a conversation, ask the recipient to help you with a joke, and start it off with, "What what has a small dick and hangs down?" The typical answer is, "What a bat." As you know, it hangs upside down. Oh, what has a big dick and hangs up? I don't know. And then you hang up on them. <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay. A weasel walks in the bar, and the bartender says, Wow, I've never served a weasel before, so what can I get you? 
and the weasel's not in the mood for booze, so Pop goes the weasel. Mm, uh, uh, Pop uh, goes the weasel. Uh, get up, ba da ba da ba da ba da. da. By the uh, way, is um, is it uh, is a uh, Lorene getting ready to come up in stage yet? Still got just a few more minutes. She's ready to clip. Uh, well, I said, she, if you wanna, if you wanna get her off the stage. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. I would might as well get off the stage then. I'll let Lorraine set up. And I'll just tell one more joke while we're doing this, and then I'll give you the updates for the week, and then we'll move on to Lorraine. It was this one. A young lady just visited her doctor, and he informed her that she was pregnant. Oh, my. The young lady had been married for 10 years and wanted a baby very badly. This was very welcome news, right? She sat on the bus, and on her way home, she felt that she had to share the good news with someone because she's just bursting at the seams, right? The gentleman sitting next to her seemed as good as anyone to share the good news with. She says, there she said, I just received the best news you could ever imagine. I have to share it with someone, or I'm going to bust, right? <laughs> so she tells him the news and went to the doctor about being pregnant. The man shared her enthusiasm and in this shared experience, and he said, you know what? He was a farmer, and he was having trouble with his hands laying eggs, and he stated happily that he went out to the hen house one morning and all of his hens had laid eggs, and he was so happy. And he added, coffee, he said, I changed cocks, and the pregnant woman said, oh, what a coincidence, I did too. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last joke I have for tonight. So remember, 